coaches, Michael, Don, and Peter. Um, you've had some time to reflect on yesterday. What are your thoughts overall on that game? That it was about as bad as we could play in all three phases. Just wasn't nothing, nothing good. Now, I, I'm just curious when, you know, I heard you say that after the game as well. Is it a reflection on the talent? Is it a reflection on the coaching? What went wrong that it could be so overwhelmingly bad? It just we we let the beginning of the game just avalanche just kept coming didn't stick with what we planned on all week you know we kind of at least kind of squared things up on defense there for a little bit you know we had some mistakes on special teams offense we we just could not get out of our own way did that first pick really shake sam's confidence do you think i don't know if it really shook his confidence i think it, it made him kind of just be a little cautious about what was going on with some of the protection stuff, you know, whether or not we were going to pick things up the right way. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't hit that one in the mouth on that, that first time they brought everybody, which we knew that was going to be the big thing. We, we knew we had to stop that early, especially unless we were just going to keep seeing it. We did the opposite of what we talked about and they just kept bringing the house on us. But, but, Coach, why would you do the opposite of what you talked about? Where's the breakdown there that you guys talked about it all week and all of a sudden it's gone? Yeah, we just mis we misexecuted. You know, we just – it's one of those things where with what they do, they – it's it's certain pressures. They just – they dress it up different ways, put different bodies in different spots. So it's – you know, our guys knew going into it that they weren't going to be – exactly where they showed in previous games we we knew who was who and we just we didn't do a good job of getting those guys i mean adam can we, can we come out and say that the, the jet staff was out coached by the patriot staff last night yeah i mean i mean we lost 33 to nothing i don't think any of us got any kind of blowing remarks there belichick has now won 20 straight games against a quarterback that's in his first or second year in the league is is there an example is there something that that he does to expose that kind of inexperience well his record versus almost everybody's pretty good so i mean first or second year quarterback i mean i've been part of it where we lost to him and had a hall of fame quarterback i mean it happens i mean that's why he's the best defense coordinator probably ever and you know, they, they've won a lot of games. they won championships. Uh, at any point, um, did you consider s sitting Sam down? No, I think I was just battling whether or not it, what was good for him is whether to stay stay in the game or or try to find find a way to get a drive going, kind of build build for the next game. You know, that's kind of what I went with. And, you know, we, we kind of had something going there, and then we just couldn't convert. And, you know, we ended up getting off the field. Now, uh, he was quoted yesterday, and we'll talk to Sam a little bit later on in the show, that if he had not thrown that first interception after their long drive, that the game would have been different. Do you think it all rested on just that one play, Coach? No, I, I don't think it helped, you know, but, you know, I mean, we, that's why we need to execute that. You can't have turnovers on our own end. We can't, we can't have what happened there where we have a penalty on the kickoff return and then... Two plays later, we, we turn the ball over on our own end and put our defense in a bad spot, you know, start the game with a nine-minute drive. It's just first 19 plays of the game total for us were, were about as bad as you can get. So the line struggled, but as you watch and you dissect this game, I mean, how much of it is on the offensive line and how much of it is, is on Sam making better decisions? I think it's on it's on everybody. I mean, we didn't catch the ball when we, we – we, hit, we threw it open, guys. We didn't catch it. You know, we missed some holes. We didn't, we didn't block everything right. We didn't make the right decisions with the ball. There was play calls that were garbage. So, I mean, we, we all had a hand in this one. C.J. Mosley uh, did not look great yesterday. He said afterward that the groin was still bothering him. Is this an issue moving forward? Are you, are you concerned that he will be a player this week? Yeah, we're, we're just keeping a close eye on everything, you know, with him, and we'll keep communicating with him. He felt great going into the game, and then, you know, for, for whatever reason, he, he didn't feel as good during the game. So we'll go back to really kind of seeing where he is tomorrow and, you know, see, see what really the week kind of draws out with. All right, so obviously the, uh, one of the big headlines coming out of the game is Sam saying 
uh, being caught on, on the mic saying he sees ghosts and people are making a huge deal about that. In the moment, was Sam's reaction and kind of how panicked he seemed to be about what was getting thrown at him, was it surprising to you? Was it something you've seen with quarterbacks before when dealing with the Belichick defense? Yeah, I mean, this, this occasionally this happens when, you know, guys are coming from different spots, you know, not sure if guys are protect. You're not sure if you're protected. If guys are seeing the same thing you are, so hey, it was just one of those things where he's mic'd up and they they aired that, and not something I was really really happy about. But you know, just sometimes this this happens for quarterbacks, and then they they work their way out of it as the game goes on, and, and sometimes they don't. Adam, were you upset that he was a mic'd, or that the people that were supposed to be the the speed bump, so to the, to speak, in the process allowed that to get on the air? Yeah, I mean, normally when you see those things get aired, they're the boringest things you can possibly see. Right. For that to be aired just was not something that I was real happy about. Have you spoken to anybody about it today? That something like that doesn't happen again? Uh, there's some people in our organization that may have spoken to some people. Okay. Now, late in the game.